Okay, students, welcome to part 2 of orthographic projections for topic 3 in your MM101 Engineering Graphics and Design. Let's look at something called principal planes. When we try to describe a object in three dimensions, it is very important to first of all understand what these principal planes are. For example, if you have a three dimensional object, then we imagine there are imaginary planes surrounding this object. Okay, so this object we have shown here is a piece of a uh, 3D solid and as you can see the X, Y, Z axis is there. Now let's look at what these principal planes are. The first principal plane is the horizontal plane. Okay, so this is horizontal in nature and it extends infinitely so we imagine the plane to have no end as well so it's a horizontal plane the other principal plane is a vertical plane and finally we have a profile plane and these are all imaginary planes and we imagine our object being surrounded by these planes so that when we describe the object we can draw the projections onto these planes and then draw them on paper Okay, so let's move further. Now, once the horizontal and the vertical planes cross each other, the space is divided into four portions. Namely, we have the first quadrant, the second quadrant, third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. This is very, very important. The first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. These are formed when you pass a horizontal plane and then intersect it with a vertical plane you get first second third fourth quadrants basically space is divided into four portions let's look at the first quadrant again that's the first quadrant second quadrant and finally the third and the fourth quadrant so that's what we call first angle projection whatever is projected onto that plane in the first quadrant is called first angle projection. Whatever is projected or drawn in the second quadrant, we'll come to the drawing later, is called the second angle projection. And whatever is drawn in the third quadrant is called the third angle projection. And whatever is projected onto the fourth quadrant planes is called the fourth angle projection. Okay, so you can see HP stands for horizontal plane and vertical plane. So these are horizontal and vertical planes and these are the angles of projections that we have. Now the rule for the horizontal plane is that the horizontal plane folds clockwise. Okay, So we will now see how only the first and second, or sorry, the first and third angle projections are useful and the second and the fourth are not so useful. This is because the horizontal plane will fold clockwise and if for example this plane was to fold clockwise, this is what will happen is the second quadrant will fold on itself and the same will happen for the fourth quadrant okay so that there will be views on the projections but the views will collapse on itself so the horizontal and the vertical planes will basically fold onto each other and you won't be able to see any projections the only places where you'll be able to see any projections is the first angle projection and the third angle projection Let's move on Let's look at first angle projection or first angle orthographic projection. Let's imagine this object here and it is encased by, uh, let's say, a glass box to say. Okay, so to make things easier, let's get rid of this glass box. Okay, and let's look at projections. What is a projection? First of all, as we have discussed in part one, projection is basically whatever the image is of that 3D object is projected onto the plane. So in first angle, we draw the projection on the furthest plane from the view. For example, let's look at the front view. You see the direction of the arrow. You're looking at it from one side and drawing the view onto the plane on the other side. Okay, so it's as if it's a shadow of the of the object. Okay, so what we say is the viewer is viewing the object and drawing it on the furthest plane or you can say the object is in between the viewer and the
plane. Okay, let's look at left hand view. This is how it will look from the left hand side, but we're drawing it on the right hand side plane. Similarly, if you look at it from the top, you don't draw it on the top, you draw it at the bottom. Okay, as if it is the shadow of that object. So that's why we say the object is between the viewer and the plane and the view is drawn on the furthest plane from the view. Okay, so if I was to fold this box up, okay, the horizontal plane folds anti uh, sorry, clockwise and you will get something like this. Okay, so you have the front view, the bottom view goes uh, on top actually and then you have the front view which is the front view sitting on top of the top view so the top view is not in the actual place in fact in the first angle orthographic projection all the views change places so the right side view sits on the left side the left side view sits on the right side the front view is on top of the top view and the top view actually goes to the bottom the bottom view appears on top Okay, so the main here is mainly the front, top, and the left and the right side views. Things will become much more clearer once we look at the third angle orthographic projection and we do some more exercises. So hang in there and have a look at part 3 of this lecture.